Ian Saw, Chairman of TAS Farmers with your weekly wrap. Well, very dreary outside, a lot of rain. I left uh, home this morning and even the ducks are moving to the high ground, so that's uh, what it's on. I had the great pleasure this morning of presenting to 150 Nuffield scholars. What a great bunch of people, really understand the agricultural sector. Lots of questions for an hour and a half. It's just fantastic to have that calibre of person involved in um, in agriculture, so that's great. Uh, everyone's feeling for the King Island community at the moment. Uh, absolutely devastating news last week with the closure of the dairy. Uh, Taz Farmers has been in touch with people on the island. We know the state government's working quickly. However, Taz Farmers are absolutely rock solid that Saputo have got to go out there and work very hard to make sure that they find a buy. Leave no stone unturned. That is a really good brand, internationally known. We want to see that continue. We want to see it grow with the King Island community. Uh, Saputo cannot walk away from this. It'll cause too much social and economic damage to the island. Um, the last 10 or so days with all the bad weather, we TAS farmers have been working incredibly closely and well with TAS networks. Members have been able to ring us up, give us intel on their area where roads are locked, trees are across power lines, power's out or whatever. We've been able to relay that to TAS networks and the issues have been fixed up quite quickly, including getting generators to some farmers so they can continue to milk cows. Our phones have also been running pretty hot this week. Our people are sort of digesting the council rate notices that are coming in. Look, there's, without a shadow of a doubt, everyone's saying that the rates are getting too high. They're having a great deal of difficulty in understanding the value proposition of those rates, so we'll continue to look into that value proposition. Uh, I think local government have just got to realise that the farmers of the rural community are just not an endless money pit. Um, Blaze Aid are a great organisation that helped families and farmers after disasters. Uh, they're wanting to help those farmers that have been impacted by the recent storms in Tasmania. They walk, work through local councils. Grayson will put a link or a post up there. But if you, you need help, please get in contact with your local council or the link that um, Grayson's put up. Next week is the rally in Canberra. Um, if you can make it there, that's good. Show your support. Uh, Grayson, again, will put a link there to that uh, so you'll be able to contribute in any way that you see fit. Anyway, until next week, take care.